Hi, everybody. Uh, so we're going to talk about Hillary Clinton and the way the media is reporting it. I'm here with the team from the Ardent Atheist, Heather Henderson and Emery. Emery is here with us. Hello. How are you? Say I'm hello. well. Thank you very much. Also with us. Say hello. Hi. <laughs> Hi. How are you? Also with us, hilarious comedian Hank Thompson. Hi, Hank. Hey, great to be here. Yeehaw. Hi. Let's hello. talk. Hello, I said. Okay. Hello. <laughs> Usually you have a joke to start off, Hank. You don't have a joke? I am the joke. Okay. All right. <laughs> So I'm, we all saw Hillary Clinton uh, almost pass out when she was going into the van, and they first said she was overheated, and then they said uh, she was fine, and they said, oh, no, she got pneumonia, and then they said she was fine, and they said, no, she's going to cancel her California trip. So there's been a lot of conflicting uh, stories, so they lied about it. And I don't know if you saw the video. We There's a video on this channel of her falling she didn't fall like you would fall if you were fainting. She fell like you would fall if you were having a drunk. Like, like. <laughs> Sorry, dude. That's what I saw when I saw it. I saw what was wrong. Like, if you faint, usually your head goes, but mm -hmm. her head didn't go. She was stiff. It was looked like a neurological thing, like her, like they have a she had a spasm or a thing, because like she she was like this, so she was like jerky, like someone with. Are you a doctor? I am not a doctor, <laughs> but that's not how people faint. And you know why I'm allowed to. Um, I give myself permission to uh, speculate because they lied. So once they lie about it, now we all get to speculate. Wow. She's got and meningitis. Never, yeah, right, right, right. <laughs> okay. and, 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 and you never listen to Alex Jones. Because <laughs> I got to tell you, it's almost like you're ripping him off right now. Anyway, let's hear. What, what's your theory? What do you think he did? What do you I think, think she did? I think she has Parkinson's because she has a certain type of pneumonia that isn't because they were like, well, if she had pneumonia on Friday, she was out there meeting people and she was around kids. Why are you letting her infect people? And they go, no, no, it's a certain kind of pneumonia called, is it called aspiration? I think it's called aspiration pneumonia, which you only get, that's not bacterial, you only get that from Parkinson's. So that's the fact that the number wait. one killer of people with Parkinson's is that aspiration. Can you look and make sure I'm pronouncing it, it correctly? Sound, it it but, sounds, but wait, go ahead. Aspiration pneumonia, go ahead. I read that there were people in her group that were sick before her. That there, there's something going around actually in that's the. That's what they want you to think. That also that, that actually sent people to the hospital. That contradicts their story though, because their story is she has the kind that's not infectious, so you can't catch it from someone. See, I think it's more likely they're that's the they lie, lie they're telling. They lie all the time. You're going for a different lie. Oh, so you think they're lying and that she actually is contagious? Everyone does that. Yeah, sure. Everyone goes out into the world with the cold or the flu, um, and and by the way, and and makes this up. I just the other day, my daughter said it. She goes, yeah. I, it's been 24 hours since I've had a fever, so I'm not contagious when she had a bad cold. Well, that's just bullshit. And I told her, I was like, I looked it up. I wanted to make sure that's bullshit. We've all done that. And I think that's the more likely lie here. I, I, I okay, don't, let's know, go. So I, I, listen, noted. I, I, noted. So I, we have two I want to be on record as I, I'm, I, I'm a little embarrassed about defending the veracity of the warmonger. But yes, that's what's happening right now. She's, uh, I'll say it right now, she's got Parkinson's. <laughs> 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 so here, let's. So uh, but what I want to do in this uh, segment is watch how the news media is covering it. And by the way, Brian Williams, our main man, he's got a show again. It's called the Eleventh Hour. Oh my! So he's been rehabilitated. He's no longer a liar, and uh, he's back being a great journalist. All he had to do. So all you have to do is go spend a couple of months laughing at nothing with Rachel Maddow. <laughs> <laughs> And apparently, <laughs> laughing at nothing with Rachel Maddow. <laughs> apparently, that should be a show. That is really great. That's a perfect description. So here's how he uh, framed the story about Hillary. Now, I'm telling you, she didn't pass out. That was not a pass out. In fact, she's even said she doesn't pass out. There's something else going on there. Here we go. Is the eleventh hour. Good evening from our headquarters in New York. I'm Brian Williams. This was a sick day for Hillary Clinton and a nonstop day of coverage for the news media. The former Secretary of State has pneumonia and gets dehydrated from time to time. First of all, he's reporting that as a fact. Yeah. He's like, this, uh, the Secretary of State has a pneumonia and gets dehydrated from time to time. Like he's going to, okay, this is what's happening. 
I'm like, whoa, that's a weird way to report it. It's like, not the re- that's not reporting. That's not he doesn't know that. Yeah, for he sure. doesn't know that. The right way to report that is they, they say claim. they claim. We've, yeah, that's what they've said. His handler, her handlers. Have you said. know that insta- instantly. That's uh, how he should report it. Yeah, I know instantly. That's I've never how he been to school it. for journalism. Have you? No, but we know this. But we know that's how you're supposed. To, oh, yeah. The, the, but he's not saying it that way. He's asserting something. Okay, here we go. But because a cell phone camera almost caught her passing out and because of a persistent cough and even more persistent Internet rumors about. OK, it's it didn't almost catch her. It did catch it her. It caught her mm-hmm. from a couple. It, caught, it totally caught her. And we also saw the metal thing fall out of her pants, which I showed on another video that no one's bringing up, by the way. What's a, what, what? There was a metal. So people are saying that because if she has Parkinson's, that you lose bladder control, mm-hmm. that she's wearing a catheter. And they've showed other pictures of it. You could see it through her pants. That's what they claim. Well, you don't know what that is, so I never brought it up. But then during this, I'll show you the video. Yeah, yeah. When she falls... A piece of metal comes out of her pants and hits the concrete, and you can hear it and you can see it. Yeah, but catheters aren't. But it's strapped to her knee. They would they, the, the way the drawings I've seen that they can, the, to strap it to your knee is where they that they are they use a metal clamp or whatever. So here we so uh, she she pees metal. <laughs> She pees solid well, I like metal. The She's got to be uncomfortable. Yeah. Metal she eats nails for your... breakfast and she pees metal. Oh yeah. I've known Jimmy Turn Dore Jeb for Bush years, and I'm just now discovering that you are on the forefront of the alt-left. I... <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's hear this. All right, so let's go. Her health, and because it took her campaign days to reveal her pneumonia diagnosis, tonight her health is a big story. Okay, so there you go. So that's Brian Williams. You've got nothing else to talk about. Yeah, so right. that's that's how he, he framed it. I thought that was uh, not great news work. I'm glad we agree on that. So here's what Hillary had to say about uh, why she, what happened. Here's what she said. With She was talking with Andy Cooper. Oh, I think really only twice uh, that I can recall. She was asked if she'd ever had these feigning spells before. And she said, I think twice that I can recall. Um, you know, it is something that uh, has uh, occurred a few times over the course of my life, and you know, I'm aware of it, and usually can avoid it. Now, if it Wait, happened that wow. infrequently twice? over the course of your life, twice, then a few times. So why do you? So now, how are you aware of it, and how are you able to avoid something that almost never happens? So you're conscious of the, of avoiding something that has almost never happened to you before. You would think you would become aware of something if it happened a lot. But now she says, I'm aware of it, and I can avoid it. You will, That would mean that it happened constantly that you became aware of it and, and worked up a way to avoid it. So her story, again, not making sense. It's contradict. She's contradicting herself, and I'm going to show you a video where Bill also contradicts her in a second. But, Hank, you want to say something? Uh, not, not really. Oh, okay. I mean, I, I was going to say, I've had a, I had one migraine in my life, so I'm aware of it, but I, I don't know how to avoid it. <laughs> I don't know what that means. But. So let's go. Let's keep going. Uh, what happened yesterday was that I just was incredibly committed to being at the memorial as a senator on 9-11. This is incredibly personal to me. And I could, uh, you know, feel how hot and humid it was. Okay, it was uh, not hot and humid. The, there was a hot and humid uh, spell of weather that had just broken the night before. So it was in the 70s when she got overheated. The high in New York was 80 that day. But so, the humidity. Oh, oh, the humidity. So and and by the way, if she was so hot and overheated, why did they take her coat off? Hmm. I felt overheated. I decided that I did need to leave and as soon as I got into the air-conditioned van, I cooled off, I got some water, and very quickly uh, I felt better. So why wouldn't you take your coat off? You have a shirt on. Why, if you're overheated and you're to the point of passing out, you're like, keep my coat on, though. Because she's carrying a bag of piss around? Is that why? I don't know why. I don't think so, because she wasn't overheated. She That's was having not a, a shirt. That's an ascot, and it doesn't cover <laughs> all of her lizard skin. That's the problem. She was having a Parkinson's moment, mm-hmm. what was happening. That why it wasn't overheating. So this is all BS. So right, here we go. And uh, uh, That's next, right? Hang on, what's next? No, I, I didn't. I, I felt- they asked her if she passed out. That's the question. Did you pass out? She says, no, I didn't. Dizzy. And I did lose my balance for a minute. Um, but I, once I got in, once I could sit down, once I could cool off, 
uh, once I had some water, uh, I immediately started feeling uh, better. And my daughter lives nearby, so I went over to uh, her apartment and, you know, spent time with her and my grandchildren, which, you know, right. the, you know the, the best medicine for anything in my life. Now, because of, okay, I got, I got sick once and the doctor prescribed me Chelsea Clinton's kids. <laughs> <laughs> So that's, when how you I, get, that's how you get a migraine again, my friend. Yeah. I didn't. So when a 68-year-old woman with a history of brain injury passes out like the way she passed out. She said she didn't pass out. You take her to the emergency room. Oh, no, you, you hurry her to her daughter's apartment? 